Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So, today I have some exciting news. Um, some stuff that I'm really excited for as well. Um, so, last week I had posted seven weeks out. And we had an arm workout and full day of eating. And the week before that I had another video that was seven weeks out as well. So, where it gets confusing is the, um, the competition I was supposed to compete in. The promoter never updated a website from last year. So I wasn't able to go in and register for the show at all. Couldn't figure out how it was on NPC's website that they are still having the show. I tried emailing the uh, the promoter, couldn't get anything back. Eventually, just chalked it up that they can't they canceled the show. The promoter might have not had the funds or just went out of business or something. So I was focused on another show. The weekend after that this would be one week later so instead of last week instead of being six weeks out it'd be seven weeks out um well my buddy went to a posing seminar and they just so happened to have a poster for that show so he sent a picture of it and it had the phone number on there so i went and called promoter left a message didn't get a phone call back so i left about six messages in one day and about five o'clock that evening finally called me back sending me sent me an updated link that wasn't on the poster I'm not sure how everyone else is going to sign up for the show but sent me the links and everything I needed to get signed up for it so now I am officially five weeks out and not six weeks now so um, calories are going to be coming down next week and um, it's going to get down to crunch time I'm, I'm I'm extremely excited. I might not seem like it, but I am very excited to see what's going to happen here in the next few weeks. I'm already at the leanest I've ever been in my life. AKA the caffeine for energy. But um, right now we're still sitting at about between 2,800 and 3,000 calories. I leave myself a little bit of wiggle room for any sort of errors that might happen. So in between there and I'm doing about an hour to an hour and a half of uh, lisp cardio every day. So nothing crazy, just sitting on a bike, paddling, watching some TV, enough to barely break a sweat. So this prep so far has been a success. I've definitely put on some muscle through the prep. Now at this point, I really haven't been the last few weeks, but I've definitely maintained a lot of size. I'm still sitting at about 230 pounds. And my weight cap, um, as long as I measure in in the morning, because you shrink a half inch throughout the day. If you get heighted in the evening, you're a half inch shorter than what you would be in the morning. So if I get heighted in in the morning, I have a 245 pound weight cap, 6'3". If I get heighted in in the um, evening, I'll be in the 6'2 category, which is only 237. So... I should be stage weight, probably about 220 is what I'm guessing. Um, I've never gotten down to stage weight, so I'm just taking a shot in the dark with that. Guessing by how much body fat that I've yet to lose. So, um, I'm going to make myself up another cup of coffee here, and I'm going to get started. We're going to make some French toast for breakfast. I'll give you guys a quick run through on how to make that. I'll let that get digested and hit the gym, and you guys will get to see a good... Uh, chest workout for today. Alright guys, so we're back. Um, I made a few videos with the French toast in it before, so this is just for the people that really haven't seen it ever made before. You just get liquid egg whites. I put six servings of liquid egg whites in a bowl. Get a little bit of vanilla extract put in there, get some sugar-free um, sweetener artificial sweetener and some cinnamon mix it all up in a bowl and just take your regular bread and flip back and forth just like you would french toast and make it that way it's a really really easy recipe to make and honestly whether i'm prepping or just in a bulk or anything i mean it's a staple in my in my diet i love it Whenever I get into the heat of a bulk, I do try to avoid eating it just to give me something to look forward to during my diet. So, 
it's yeah, it's literally that good. It gives me something to look forward to. But you can make if you wanted to add, add a little bit of healthy fats too, you could put like one egg yolk in there. But I just get the containers of egg whites, especially the way eggs are going. The egg white prices haven't gone up, but the egg prices have, so I haven't had to deal with any of that at all with this. So we are almost done here. The last piece. And if you have any extra egg white mixture in your bowl, I'll show you how to get rid of that. I wouldn't suggest if you're cooking these for someone else to do it because putting your fingers in the food, but you just push a couple holes down in for the extra mixture and the holes you just made. Quite a bit of extra mixture, actually. Well, I'll take some blueberries. I got one serving of these. And I'll just sprinkle on top. Has a nice little flavor to it. Actually, have a lot of flavoring because. This is a lot of blueberries for just four slices, but it's only 70 calories extra. And in my opinion, it is definitely worth it. So, get them spread out. Just take your spatula and push them down into the French toast. Makes a little bit of a mess, but everything cooks together eventually. cleaned up so that way they don't stain. Um, fish cooking this, I'm going to eat it. I'm also using a sugar free syrup. It's upside down but you can read. Um, use that. Use half a cup. It's like 60 calories with a great value. If you get the Mrs. Butter's worth it's only like 40 calories for half a cup. So um, yep, I'm going to eat this and get ready to head to the gym. All right, so we're going back on the shoulders today to start off the first superset. We supersetting this with chest exercise, so with this one, I could do a little bit more weight, especially if I want more body fat. But um, the idea is to explode it up and slowly control it down and focus on that muscle that we're trying to work, which would be the shoulder. So we'll just go ahead and get into it and show you guys how it's done.
I am feeling very drained at the moment. So, um, went to the gym, got the workout in, and came back, did, um, an hour and a half of cardio, and in the, um, meantime, I did have a couple meals. Quick. So, um, this was one of them. Uh, it's just blueberries, two servings of rice, and a scoop of protein, something that's going to digest really quickly, give me quick energy for like really carbs during the workout. So I eat that on the way there, like 30 minute drive. So with how I got there, I was already starting to digest. I was getting some glycogen into the muscle so I could have some energy for the workout. After the workout, whenever I got back, um, right when I went to go do the cardio, I wanted some more energy and some protein. That way my muscles could start to the healing process and I get some more energy. So I did like one serving of rice and a scoop of protein. Mixed it up together, put a little sucralose in there, sweeten it up. And it was actually really good uh, for um, for all the more it was. So um, I'm waiting on my chicken to uh, heat up, and I'm going to be making salad wraps out of that. If you watched my last video, you've seen how I make them. Um, just use the Tumoros 60 calorie wraps. They have high protein, high fiber container of spring mix and then I use two servings of chicken it usually comes out to about 700 calories for everything if you make five wraps um and it is extremely filling so um after the chicken cooks up I will uh, make those wraps up and I will see you guys at the last meal Alright, so I wasn't really going to film making the wraps, but I've eaten two of them and I'm feeling a little more energetic now. So, um, I know in the last video I filmed how to make these, but this is how I normally say I get all my condiments sit right beside me on the couch, sit down, watch a movie, and uh, just make one at a time and eat it till I'm full, basically. So, let's get a wrap. I like to use... Uh, Dill relish has zero calories. If you use sweet relish, you will add calories unless you get like the uh, the sugar free sweet. But I'm more of a fan of the dill. Just spread the dill relish around, and after that, I use yellow mustard has zero calories. Get a nice base layer put on there. Adds a little bit of flavoring. You take a handful of your spring mix, spinach, iceberg lettuce, whatever you got. I like to crush it up. It makes it easier to fold it afterwards. Make sure you get a nice little pile down on there. The more lettuce you fit in here, the more it's going to fill you up per wrap. So I try to fit as much as I can in there. Treat that. Take a little bit of G Hughes or any sort of sugar free barbecue sauce. Spread that on there. Try to estimate about one serving. I've waited out enough times where I can sort of guess pretty close to where one serving's at. Now take our chicken. Shred it up. That way we spread it out nice and evenly over the whole wrap. And this thing comes out massive. It's like a huge baby wrap. Like literally the size of most newborn infant babies. So, uh, get that spread out there. Alright, I take a little bit of, I like spicy brown mustard. It does have five calories per serving. So I mean, and most you're gonna have like 10 15 calories a wrap putting this on here, it's not gonna make or break your diet, even if you're prepping for a contest. Take another little handful of spinach, you want to spread that over top that way. When you get folded, you don't get all the barbecue sauce and mustard all over your hands. Get that packed on there hand right on the center so you can fold it over 
Four over, there you go. Got yourself a wrap. And I'm telling you, you eat about three of these and you will be stuffed. So I'm gonna go get to eating and I'll see you whenever I make my ice cream. All right, so we are finally at the end of the day. It's about eight o'clock. My, I'm usually heading to bed about 9, 30, 10 o'clock trying to get a nice eight to, eight to nine hours of sleep. So um, I'm finishing the day off with some protein ice cream. This is only half the ice cream that I have sitting out in the freezer. I like to um, keep it cold that way. It's not all melting because it does take a while to eat all of this. Um, if you want to know how to make it, I do have a video. Uh, hop on my channel and you'll be able to find it. It is a phenomenal recipe of the diet on. Um, today's um, total calories come out to about 24 2500 calories and um, about 240 grams of protein um the diet definitely wasn't my average today got thrown off a good bit i hit the gym a little bit late took a little bit longer at the gym than i was expecting and then with the hour and a half cardio that i've added in this week it um i didn't really want to eat anything before the cardio because i didn't want to feel bloated while doing it so i mean kind of threw me off I'm still trying to adjust to the diet changes as the show gets closer and closer and I need to press my body fat down lower and lower so just a lot for me to work on as well you guys can see some of the struggles that uh that we uh bodybuilders go through for these shows and what we push our bodies through I uh, hope you guys learned something through this video um trying to educate you guys and learn um, learn some some stuff as I come along too. I've never actually pushed myself down this low before or pushed myself this hard before. So um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys want to see some different type of content, um, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be pushing out as much content as I can. I know it's slacking a little bit this week, but um, I just had a lot going on. Hours at work picking up. This is I work a full time job at the gym and try to do these YouTube videos, along with um, we had Valentine's Day this week and a couple other things that I had going on. So I'll be pushing out as much as I can. I'm trying to get two to three videos out a week. Um, I guess until next time, I will. See you guys later.